What's up, guys? Kai the Guy here, and this is my first time recording off of my phone, as you can see in the screen recording in the top left. But, I'm just gonna say it, I don't think anyone's enjoying the Fortnite season that much. Because there's a whole mode where it's like you're playing Osu, and then there's also a whole mode where you're just driving, and then Minecraft? No. And then just the Battle Royale itself with the loot pool, Call of Duty, just, it's just so much. To be honest, none of the stuff going on at Fortnite is really interesting me right now. So, I'm gonna switch over to Roblox a bit, like I've been doing. But, this time, I'm gonna be playing a game that I can't play on Roblox PS4. So, here we are, Anime Adventures. Now, look. I know that I may not be the best player that you guys have ever seen, or anything too extraordinarily powerful. But, okay, and of course, he's just not on the banner. I've been searching for Vegeta for days. Last time he was on the banner, I didn't get him, unfortunately. But, it is what it is, I'm not gonna complain. complain. But, um, I got Boo. Uh, I could use better stats on them and could use some better things. I mean, better traits, but still got them. So I'm happy about that. Uh, to be honest, I don't really know what I was going to do for this episode. But I did want to try and beat Infinity Castle a bit. So, yeah. But real quick showcase of my team. Sasuke. He has a pretty bad relic on him, so I'm in the process of grinding to get him something better. Also, yes, I have ass stats on him. <laughs> That's hilarious. I didn't even know I had ass stats on him. I got the same thing on my Goku as well. Wow, I have the exact same stats on my Goku. That's crazy. And I've got Law. Crazy thing is, I actually used to have Law, but this is my second Law that I've had. Tried to sacrifice him to 10 damage. Which, his stats were better before. But yeah. Also, I got a Divine Metal Knight. So yippee to that. And then just some other units. Needing to evolve Jiraiya. Oh, didn't mean to block him. But, uh, yeah. So, we're gonna try and beat Infinity Castle this episode. We're gonna see how far I can get. Because me being 89%, no, no, that's not going to cut it. I'm going down every day, so we're doing rule 101. We is not about to stand at 89%. I refuse. So, uh, let's go ahead and get our speed cart place. Let's see. Oh, they have physical resistance. That's pretty bad for my Goku. But Sasuke should be able to cook, literally. Then I'm gonna just place Usopp for extra measures. Because I like to use money. Oh, he has some sort of resistance to magic. I'm also turning on the effects. Look, y'all seen my uh, YouTube banner? Y'all should know how I feel about Dragon Ball. I'm really happy about the update that they did. But I am not happy with them entirely, because they did not add Gohan. But Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Vegeta, still pretty cool. Also, they added Vegeta, so that's another plus. So, I'm not going to be too upset at them. So, just going to upgrade our speed cart. And I'm hoping to get a unique on one of these units, because if you could see, literally every one of my units has superior. Except for Tengen, I got Reaper on him, that's bad. And, uh... I mean, my other DPS units, they weren't really that DPS anymore. Like, they had fallen off with the meta, so I just got rid of them. I had Escanor, but if your Escanor wasn't unique, he basically wasn't even that good. So, I just kind of got rid of him. Sasuke doing 22, I mean, yeah, 22k. Go. Goku's kind of goaded as well, though. I'm pretty sure Goku's in Infinity Castle, Castle meta. So. 
Listen, if you like my cosmetic, Goat Sock, the most clutch unit right here. Oh, wait, I didn't even recognize that. Hold on. Usopp, you don't ruined it. Okay. Bruh, stop. All right, bruh, here we go. Yeah, that may be a thumbnail. That may be the thumbnail. That's a, that's a thumbnail. That is 100% a thumbnail. Okay. All right, that's a quick thumbnail. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna just kind of focus Sasuke. Gonna match him out real quick. Infinity Castle's a lot easier than I thought. It's a lot easier than I thought it would be. He, this is just such a good unit, Sasuke. And I really need to do a good trade on him, but I do not have that many reroll tokens. But once Christmas comes around, <laughs> or a YouTube chat, which may not be hitting until New Year, because I don't know how YouTube gives out their checks, but it's pretty confusing. Because I'm relatively new to this stuff; I've only been doing it for a year, so you know, man. Still trying to figure stuff out. But, uh, yeah. 219% rolls. Oh, I actually could have brought 10 gang. Could have brought 10 gang. Well, win some, you lose some. I just want to talk about, uh, anime ventures over. anime adventures overall. So, really good game, but I took a hiatus on it because it was like update after update and it was too grindy and the stages were really difficult for me to do. So I just took a hiatus on the game for a really long time, which means I never really got Nami or never really had enough like gems to do much or reroll tokens. So I've missed out on a lot of the content that's been out because I just didn't really care about the game. I haven't really done any of the detective portals, and I haven't done too much of the Halloween event either, so I'm most likely not going to get Zid or Dazai. But I mean, hey. This Dragon Ball update brought, well, what brought me back was actually the Naruto update. Came back because the Naruto update came out. And I don't really mess with Naruto like that, but if y'all know who it's purple is, hashtag the GOAT. YouTuber of Anime Adventures. Uh, he released a video on it, and I like it watching his content, so that just made me want to play Anime Adventures again. And then, when it was a Dragon Ball update, they had me hooked. They had me hook, line, and sinker. I was in. So now I'm probably like several more hours deep into this game than I was before. That's kind of crazy how one update can make me just return to a game that I never really messed with like that. Because I never really messed with Anime Adventures. I rocked with it in the beginning, you know, when it was new and stuff, but like, just playing it was really grindy. It sort of reminded me of Blocks Fruits and whatnot. Just, just didn't really enjoy it that much. But yeah, that's Room 101 completed. And we're gonna move on to room 102. Oh wait, did I not have it on hard difficulty? I must have not have. Because I only have it on hard difficulty. Oh, completed the quest. Challenge and kills. Okay, wait, what? Dang, I got 10 minutes? Hold up, we may complete these daily challenges. Well, to be honest, there's no point. I only do my daily challenges for battle pass and I've maxed out the battle pass, so there's no reason for me to do so. No, hold on. Let me let me talk to her real quick. Mm. What? Wow. Okay. All right. Well, let's see if I got anything to open for though. Nah, I ain't got nothing to open. 
gonna open something real quick, but maybe I should get Eins. Should I get Eins in the next Anime Adventures video that I upload? Let me know in the comment section. To be honest, this episode wasn't really to do much. Uh, it was just to apologize for the lack of update. I mean, for uploads. But I explained my reason. Fortnite's been a little bit dry, and I'd like to expand my content to what other people are watching too. So. If you guys could help me out with giving me some suggestions on what to play, that would be great. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.